CBT News, celebrating 10 years of delivering the news and content automotive professionals count on. CBT News, 10 years strong. Subscribe today. Welcome to CBT News with Bridget Fitzpatrick. Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to CBT News. I'm Bridget Fitzpatrick. Thank you so much for joining us. Today on Inside Automotive, we're joined by Steve Rossler, Drive Centric's Chief Evangelist Officer. But first, here are today's top stories. Starting off our coverage, new car prices have skyrocketed to an all-time high of $48,681 after an interesting year in the auto industry. Automakers are charging more than ever to cover staggering production costs. However, the increased price tags have seemingly failed to plug losses. According to a November Cox Automotive report, automakers' sales numbers are down across the board from 2021, while retailers are expecting the market to perform even worse in the coming months. Although dealerships have tried to lure buyers with low markups and generous after-sale benefits, most consumers are simply choosing to wait for better deals. Although there are some signs of a market normalization, it remains unclear when the industry will return to pre-COVID levels. Up next, General Motors is recalling over 825,000 units after discovering a software issue causing headlights to malfunction. According to the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, daytime bulbs on certain models may remain on when switching to the main headlights, making them much brighter than intended. The intense glare can obscure the vision of other nighttime drivers running the risk of accidents. Included in the recall are Cadillacs, Chevrolets, Buicks, and GMC SUVs. Owners will be able to fix the issue with a software update either at home or at the dealership once GM contacts the affected drivers in January. Citigroup has given Carvana a neutral stock rating despite disagreement among investment firms on the auto retailer's future. 2022 has been an increasingly difficult year for the company as consumer interest in used vehicles has waned, leaving the company with high debt and low revenue. While its shareholders are worried, analysts from banks such as Morgan Stanley and Bank of America have refused to predict a collapse, believing that it still has recovery options. Citigroup noted that a normalized market without supply chain issues or financially struggling consumers could help Carvana return to its original status as a major car seller. Regardless, if its financial troubles aren't addressed soon, experts warn the company could be bankrupt by late 2023. Closing out our coverage, Stellantis is shutting down its sole Jeep Cherokee plan, although it claims to be researching alternative uses to reopen its doors in the future. The Illinois-based factory has struggled to maintain production over the SUV for several years due to labor shortages and supply issues, even after the automaker reduced production as a result of poor sales. While the United Auto Workers Union and Stellantis are debating the 2023 closure, if it resumes production, the plant will likely return as an EV facility thanks to new tax credits from the state incentivizing electric car manufacturing. For now, however, the factory is scheduled to close in February, laying off roughly 1,350 workers. Don't go anywhere. Coming up next is Steve Rossler, Drive Centric's Chief Evangelist Officer. We'll be right back. Delivering the news dealers count on for 10 years. Subscribe today and join thousands of other automotive professionals. CBT News, 10 years strong. On today's show, we're pleased to welcome back Steve Rossler, Drive Centric's Chief Evangelist Officer, to walk us through data and engagement management. Take a look. Oh, Tell yeah. us, what is the difference between these two things, data management and, uh, and, and engagement? You know, it is kind of interesting. Well, data management, all these CRMs out there for the longest time, they right. do a great job. Um, but the engagement has just changed so much over the years, and especially with COVID, mm -hmm. you know, technology uh, and our communication has right. changed. Um, right now, many of the CRMs are going out there, we're measuring like phone calls, we're measuring emails. Yeah. And when it comes to data, we're going out there saying, well, if we make 100 phone calls, 50 emails a day, what does that give us? I don't know. <laughs> but when you're focused on engagement, right. um, you, you really focus 
differently on the conversations that are happening at your store today. Right. In the day, usually in these CRMs, we got to hunt, we have to find mm -hmm. these opportunities. Mm -hmm. And it shouldn't be that difficult, especially when we know the buyers have changed so dramatically. We're, right. we're buying cars 70% of the time in four days. Right. The dealers need to be in the game and looking at the engagement first right. versus the data, because if they look at the data, they're missing an opportunity right. because these customers need to be responded to faster. Today. That's right. It's almost just historical data at that point in time, right? It, it is. That you that you just go back, and go, okay, we, we missed that one. Well, yeah, yeah, I guarantee if I found an opportunity and maybe it's just, maybe it's three hours later. Yeah. That just means three hours later, a, nobody's gonna wait three hours for a response to a conversation oh, looking for a car. Not today. They're already talking to two, three other dealers. That's right, that's right. That's so right. Uh, I'm gonna work with the customer or the dealership that gets right. back to me the fastest. That's right, that's right. And that's really what salespeople and BDC people want. They want that kind of technology available to them, right? Correct, oh, absolutely. Um, and in this day and age, because it is a speed game like what we're talking about, yeah. um, one of the things that we built is artificial intelligence. Mm -hmm. And it's, um, I know that's a buzzword. Of there. course, it's everybody talks about AI. And AI, artificial, right. so Gotta I wanna make it. sure. Yeah. Uh, the first thing I always tell the dealers is make sure you understand what AI, there's good forms of AI out there. Okay. So um, the way we propose um, the artificial intelligence work in, in Drive Centric is it's true machine learning AI that's conversational. Mm -hmm. So what that means to a dealer is when I get an internet lead in two to three minutes, um, the artificial intelligence can help get the engagement for the BDC or the salesperson. Okay. And uh, you know, if you take a look at the conversion um, and when these customers are spending in interlates because of the speed game, your closing percentage goes down dramatically. Yeah. I mean, just COVID impacted yeah. everything. Yeah. So it is a speed game today. And the AI can help get the engagement so now the BDC people can be a better responder. Right, right. And, and that's how technology today and engagement focus, sure. especially on internet leads, is gonna help. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But then we also know that stores are doing more with less, so there's other ways to go out there and use AI to help get that engagement. Um, but a lot of our people are getting rid of a lot of the tasks. Right. You right. know, if I can get rid, if I have stores right now, you probably know you were at a store. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, how many, did your salespeople get their work plan done every day? Oh, hell no. 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 Nope. And and, nope. and what do I do, Jim, do I prioritize a day two task or a day 60 task? <laughs> that's right. What should I do, boss? That's right. And, and that's what the salespeople, yeah. so if, if we know that salespeople and customers are buying a car yeah. in four days, why do we have business rules going out 30 days, 60 days? I know, it's crazy. It's crazy. So we got to reprioritize and, and really think about, where the customer's buying a car, and that's where the customers are engaged. That's right. All right, be sure to watch this interview in its entirety right here at CBTnews.com. That wraps up our show for today, but we invite you to join us back here again tomorrow morning for all the latest news and trends impacting the retail automotive industry. And be sure to follow us on TikTok, LinkedIn, Facebook, and Twitter. I'm Bridget Fitzpatrick. Thanks for watching, and have a great day. CBT News, your number one resource for auto industry news and content. Join the number one most watched newscast in the automotive industry. CBT News, 10 years strong. Subscribe today.